Slavern was actually recommended to me by a um, somebody that I knew from years ago at an outpatient treatment center in Torrance. He was uh, homeless for years. Um, a severe addict and uh, mental health issues. And he had been in and out of uh, various treatment facilities all of which were, were always, um, you know, the focus was on 12-step programs, which are fantastic and, and great, but, but I felt like Brett really needed mental health, uh, someplace that had a strong focus on mental health as well. Like nothing I've ever experienced before. Truly, we have been through this, we've been through this process before, and, from the time that we walked in, it was like they, they just knew Brad on a level that nobody else knew him. And they were able to um, bond with him and, and uh, identify with him. And most importantly, they made Brad feel confident and secure and safe. And, and that was a big deal. That was something that had never happened. I was, I was hopeful, but reserved in my hope. Um, the staff communicated well with me and let me know what was going on with them. And uh, Brett was on a blackout period for a couple weeks, and I couldn't talk to him. And so I didn't really, you know, I, being that I couldn't talk to him, I didn't really understand what was going on with him. But then I could talk with the staff, and the staff was telling me everything was happening. So it was great to have that communication piece. It's been really beneficial. Just, you know, right now we're, we're just, we're in the beginning stages of, of this program, just two weeks in. And um, it, it just feels so good to know that he's safe right now mm -hmm. and that he's, uh, working on his issues and that he's in a, a good place, um, a high quality place where I feel like he's around people that are uh, well educated, you know, know what they're doing. And because of that, I can sleep well right now. <laughs> This is my first family week, and so this is my first time um, coming in and really hearing more about the program, and so I haven't really gotten too much into that yet. Right now, relief. And when he came in, it was, you know, I had hope, but that hope was reserved because I had been through it so many times before now. Um, but after seeing him today, I feel like it's okay to hope, and I feel like he's developed a foundation mm -hmm. underneath him that I hadn't seen before. It looks comfortable. Mm -hmm. It looks clean. It's, uh, it, it looks like it's a happy environment. Mm -hmm. um, Brett, my son, talks about the food that they eat, you know, which is really, which is a good thing, and that's important to him, and, and it's important to me that he's being fed food that he likes, and yeah, so we're very happy with it. I've been down this road so many times, I can't, I can't even begin to count how many different treatment facilities that we've been to in researching a, a place for my son to go to this time, I really dug deep and I really asked a lot of questions that I didn't ask with the other facilities. We did a lot of research, I talked to a lot of people, and I feel like I really did my homework and I felt like this truly was the best place for him. I felt like the staff, um, that they were educated, that they cared about what they were doing, that this was more than just a job to them. I didn't feel like my son was just gonna be one of the many 
you know, I felt like he, uh, people understood him, and that was really important to me.